Okay, can you hear me now? I bet you can hear me, but you're probably going to get loads of this. So I've just said all of that and nobody can hear me. Great. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So Joe says, yes, you can hear me now. Okay, we might get all the whirring of the computer because it looks like the sound from my... I don't know which mic's working now. Sorry, guys. Let's start all that again, shall we? <laughs> so I put my microphone in late. And sometimes when I do that, it connects and sometimes it doesn't. So I think it must have not connected. So I apologise. Let's start all that again. <laughs> so welcome to my Moody Monday lunchtime pick me up. Ah, intermittent. Oh, no. Uh, can, can, I hope everybody can still, ah, oh, if you're intermittent, I'm really, that's not good. Right, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to leave that. Okay. Okay. Bear with me. I'm trying to sort it out. Hold on. Oh, it's one of those days. Okay, people are now saying that it's all good. Alrighty. Let me just now I need to get my hands down camera back online again. Hold on. Let's just do that. Let's get the camera going again. And now we'll get an echo if this is working, if, if my headset's in properly. My headset in properly? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so let's put that in there. Okay, okay. Now, we, now we've got the echo. Can you hear me now still? Can you now hear me? That's the question. Or have I just lost sound again? Can you hear me now? Because I'm, I've changed mics. Okay, Leonie says, yeah, sound, okay. Is that, yes, 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 oh, good, good. Because that one will start wearing if I just leave it on my laptop and this one's much clearer. So, all right, I apologise for all of that. <laughs> Technical issues, I'm going to blame the heat because everyone else blames the heat for everything, right? So let's blame the heat. Okay, so where was I? What I was trying to explain to you was that um, it was very hot here. <laughs> so I've had to go on to all my lights. Hopefully everything will be okay when we can um, put my lights down. Um, and over the weekend, we had our team meeting and we looked at a particular layout. And so I wanted to bring you that today with some other pieces, thank you. Um, but I got tea delivered to me. Is that lovely? He's just finished plastering the wall, so he's knackered and about to have some lunch. Um, <laughs> oh well, thank you very much, Leone. Thank you. I will leave. I will leave you. I will um, let you into a little secret. Yes, I have. <laughs> um, I'm nearly at three stone down. So thank you for noticing that. Um, but yes, yeah, so I have. Um, so we've been we've been playing with lots of things over the weekend and I thought, right, I will bring that into this group because over in cardmakingknowhow.com, which is my learning centre, that's my learning academy. Uh, it's where I teach people to go from beginner card makers to confident card makers in four easy steps. Over there, we've been discussing design and all last month we did a whole uh, masterclass on designing, how to do designing, how to make cards quickly and easily. Um, so that you never lose your crafty mojo, you always know what you're going to do, uh, how to take inspiration from things and turn them into things, into cards that are your style. So we've been playing with that all last month and I thought actually it'd be nice to do just a little bit of that um, here 
live for us. Uh, so let me say hello to the people who are now here and can still and can still hear me, which is great. So Julie's here. Leonie, Martha, Taz, Linda. Uh, who else have we got? Jane's on. Uh, Julie's on. Uh, different Julie, I think. Uh, Marilyn, Bev. Bev, I was saying that you shouldn't really sit on the course unless you make sure you're drinking loads. Um, so that's Marilyn and Joe is here sneaking in, sneaking in at work, no doubt. <laughs> and Amanda's here. Hello, Amanda. Welcome. So let me switch over. Let me let me turn on my lights and go to this layout so we can see. Oops. Get some more lights going on. Although it's really bright outside, I have to use um, fake lights, as it were. <laughs> Because otherwise it's just so bright in one corner. The rest of the room is a complete, uh, it's like it's washed out and then it's a nightmare over there. OK, so these were the two cards that we made at our team meeting this past weekend. Um, and hi, Kathleen from Australia. Hello. So we decided, well, I decided this. We do mystery stamping in my team every month. Um, and a shout out to Cheryl, my new teamie who joined today. Woo! Welcome, Cheryl. It's lovely to have you in the team. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so this was we do mystery stamping every month and I always like to do something. It's either a fancy fold or it's a layout or it's um, something that is a little bit different for people to give it a go. And so you can see here that we've got a card with three stripes going here and three stripes going here and then various different things in the middle. OK. And so I thought, well, that's a really actually, that's actually a really nice layout. So why don't we play with that a little bit more? But I've decided to choose some different colours. So I've gone very summery today. Yeah, the plant stamp's fab, isn't it? From um, Splendid Daily only, yeah. So we've gone polished pink, calypso coral and so saffron. Don't they look like some kind of summer ice cream? Don't they? I just think they're just a gorgeous, a gorgeous set of colours to put together. Not ones that I would normally put together. I mean, I'm OK with the pink. Right. Um, but I don't normally do subtles. It's uh, I'm not a subtle person <laughs> other than Highland Heather, which I really like. Um, but I, I don't normally do subtle combinations, but I think this is a lovely three way colour combo. So we're going to stick with those three. Have them up there if it's not too bright. And then. I've got a whole bunch of stuff. Now, these cards, um, these colours are actually all in um, the paper pack. This one. What's this called? A Wash with Beauty. Uh, and this was one that I've been playing with um, in the in my membership. So I thought, well, I'm sure I've got some strips that might work out of that. But if not, I'll just cut up some more bigger strips. See, there's the Calypso Coral. So we'll do some we'll do some chopping up. It's a great way of using your scraps, a layout like this, because you can use scraps of paper. You can use scraps of card. You can pretty much use scraps of anything, which is good. Now, I don't have a lot of um, I don't have a lot of this paper left, funnily enough, because not only did I use it in my designing um, for the card banking know how. Dot com, but I also um, have used it for my Simply um, Stylish, not Simply Stylish, my stamp and chat this month. So, so this is all I have left, and I still have a less, I still have a class to run uh, and do some cards. So we're gonna, we're gonna really be picking out some little strippy bits, okay, and using those because I'm gonna need most of this to actually do the class on, which is on Saturday. Who's coming to stamp and chat on Saturday? Look at that gorgeous zingy colour there. It's lovely. But you can see here they've got Calypso Coral, So Saffron, um, and this is Polished Pink in here. Not that one, in this one. Polished Pink here. So this is a great paper pack to use if you happen to have it for this three-way colour combo. Um, so let's just take those big bits out and we'll use these scrappy bits because that's all I need which is great because it ends up, I love finishing an entire pack of paper. Then you have to buy another one, right? <laughs> Isn't that cool? Because uh, then you need another one to cheer you up and make you happy to, you need some more sun in your life. Okay, so I think, I think these are quite good for strips. I think these are quite good for strips. 
I've got a few of these, some of that. To go with these colour combos, I'm not so sure about those, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. Oh, look, we've got pink back here. Where's that pink come from? Oh, look. Yeah, there we go. And I've already got some of those, so that's cool. So we've got some strippy bits. I've also cut some card bases. Uh, so. Oh, no, don't be the only one on YouTube. No, that's not fair. You shouldn't be the only one on YouTube, Taz. That's that's harsh. Normally we have a few people on YouTube, like Jackie turns up and various other people. So I'm sorry if you're on the, the only one over there, but I'm glad you've come over here. <laughs> now, I don't have any So Saffron card bases, but I'm not sure I'm going to need one. I'm going to go with them. Um, we'll just go with, the, with those layers. Oh, actually, I don't have any. Where's my So Saffron layers gone? I've got loads of those. I don't know what I've done with them. Dun, dun, dun. I always like to get my bits ready first. You know this about me. Did I put them away? No, I'm going to have to cut some more. Uh, never mind, I have my so saffron here, so I can just whip out a so saffron layer, because it's always handy to have one. Right, so I've chosen a few different stamp sets that we're going to use with this. So grab, if you're following along, because I'll give you the measurements, if you're following along, I'm using um, Wildlife Wonder. That's this one with the bear. But it's also got this cute little owl, which I want to play with, and the wolf, which I love. I've already done, you've done that. Um, colour and contour, because flowers are always good, right? Um, and then I've got hippos and puffins. I'm not sure which one I'm going to, but I, I figure puffins will go great with these colour combos. And, and hippos can too, but I don't have any blends with me, so... I might stick to the puffins. So that's the that's the stamp sets I've got. So if you are following along, you're just going to need a couple of card bases and then some mats and layers. And it's a really, really, really easy layout. We will probably need a few other layers, which we can do as we go along. And if you're watching in, well, there's nobody watching from the States yet because they're all asleep. So I think, uh, well, although sometimes we have some US people on here, so they might not all be asleep. But I'm going to be sharing measurements in, um, she says, uh, I'm going to be sharing measurements in metric, okay, just for this moment. However, I will aim to get them up on my blog and i'll share these ones on my blog in uh imperial so we need some layers that are 12 and a half by seven and a half so i always use my scraps so this is a seven and a half by 12 and a half okay and then we'll do one in calypso coral let's try and make three cards shall we should we make three cards Let's aim for three. Oh, now the question is, do I have do I have a big enough off cut in so saffron? Oh no, don't. Well, that's okay. Maybe we make a different layout with that one. Let's make this seven and a half, but we make it a bit smaller because that's always okay. So how big is this? This one is twelve. Just yeah, twelve. So that's just half a centimetre smaller. So that's okay. We can do that. And then we can do our polished pink. There's our polished pink. Oh, I've got lots of polished pink. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's one of my favourite colours to use. Okay, lots and lots and lots of pieces of polished pink. Let's see. Seven and a half. No, that one will be. So I never get rid of any of my scraps. I always pop them into my little plastic wallets and that helps me. Oh, see, now we've got someone watching from Canada. Oh, hi, watching from Canada. I'm so um, I'm sorry. I'm going to be doing it in metric, but don't panic. Later on this week, it'll go up in on my blog and I'll put the measurements up in Imperial for letter sizing up there. But, you know, if you've been making cards a while, you can pick up, you probably pick it up 
without a problem. But if you haven't, then don't worry, I will have the measurements up there for you. So you can just follow along for now, enjoying what we're doing. So we need these ones cut at 12 and then one of them is going to be cut at 11 and a half. And turn that round. These go to seven. So I'm just coming down half a centimetre. Just so it's got that nice border all the way around. And I know this is seven because you it's 21 centimetres long. So we're always going to get three if we cut at seven. Call me a frugal crafter. It might be true. Um, so there's our layers. Okay. So we've got our layers. We've got our pieces. Anything this little, I generally recycle. Don't worry about it. Um, if it's bigger than that, then it goes back in my little pot. Alrighty, so I need to put that bit of Calypso coral back. Yeah, so these are my these are my pockets that I use. They're just the ones that go into an ordinary binder, um, like we used to have in the office or at school. And then I just keep them in there and I label them, and that's it. Job done. So then you can keep them in the same place as your actual um, cardstock, but it's not getting in the way of anything. If you know what I mean. Right, okay, so we've got our so saffron base, we've got a calypso coral base. Oh, let's see, we could have a mm -mm -mm. more tempted towards the pink, you know me. These need to be scored. So I will score these. Maybe I won't use white, or maybe I'll use white. Maybe I'll, use, maybe I'll use white because I, I need some of them to be having a card base layer. Let's do that and we'll see how we go. Okay, now we need our strips. So we've got our three card bases. I've gone for white, polished pink and so saffron. So if you want to follow along, even if you just do one, you can just grab one of those. And then we can follow along. Then I've got all my cut bases and layers and stuff, which I'm going to decide in a minute how they go on together. So that's those done. Now I'm thinking I want to do some layers, some strips. Now, these strips, it looks when, when they're like this, I'll just come up a little bit. So when they're like this, they seem like it should be. Um, a vertical strip but actually once you've cut them and you can put them sideways when they're thin it doesn't really matter so these are going to be nine by two so two centimeters and I always do my uh, short cutting measuring on this side because it means I can hold the bigger piece down here and cut straight up there so two two I should have checked whether they were nine or not but never mind i can do that afterwards so we've got two of that one two of that one and then i might have to intermingle it with something else i know i know so i've also got in here i also have loads and loads of die cut things so what's that? Is that about nine-ish? Oh, it's just shy of nine. That would work, wouldn't it? Could have one of them, one of them. Oh, that would look nice. So let's cut these down to nine and we'll see how that actually is going to look. Because maybe we can do three like that and have something different going on. And I love taking a layout and changing it. So I might do that or I might just do... Um, a pink one. Is that nine? That's nine. Maybe we just do a solid pink one. So I've got my options. Okay, so I've got, I could do, that looks quite nice, P DSP solid and that. Okay, hold that off for something else. So there's three pink ones. Okay, then I'm not, again, I think I'm going to have enough of this because this is that's nine. It's a little shy. It's a little over two. So let's trim that one down. I'm just going to get all my bits ready. 
because if you get all your bits ready then you just then you're just putting together and you're not doing any of the boring stuff which is cutting so i'm just going to do the boring stuff now hey kenzie from new zealand nice to see you here welcome thank you for joining us there we go so we're just making a layout card so i had i made two at the weekend with my team um i think we'll then do let's do this one on the so saffron this one for so saffron ah should we do this should we do this or should we do card let's just do card actually and then we've got three completely different ones haven't we so yeah, so at the weekend I was making uh, layouts with my team, making some fun cards with the team. And so I thought, well, we could just do the same thing today, but in different colours, different stamps and different everything, really. But it's fun. So these are nine by two centimetres, if you are following along. And we need three of them. I think I can get rid of that. Oh, I could punch something out of that, though. You know frugalness but sometimes i just i go no i've had enough like something this small it's not staying i might keep that one because i could stamp a little sentiment on it but the rest of these they're going into my recycling okay so now we have our three strips three different strips lovely so now what we need to do is we need to start putting it together and working out what we want to have as our as our designs so you can either put paper on the back of your card bases um, so that you can have stamped, um, you know, you could actually have papers on the back like this. Okay. Or you could have white or you could have a colour. So we can just choose whatever we want to have on the back of ours. So we've got our three here and what i would suggest is that you you either put the same to the same so you either put um you know you could put white and then pinks that would work or you go completely different but i quite like that i think that's nice and see here we could do a um calypso coral one couldn't we and then have those going on there that's quite nice okay these would go this way around i think and then on the on this one we pr i think i'm going to go white again actually because i think so saffron and white just looks yummy we've got three of those that's cool now you might want to change the color of your base like your layer so on the so saffron one I think we're going to go with a, um, a Calypso Coral for the stamping. Okay. Then on the Calypso Coral one, um, I'm probably going to go for the yellow. That's nice. But then on the pink, I'm going to go pink, which sounds a bit daft, but actually I think it will look great, especially as this is the shorter version. Is the short oh no that's not the short which one's the shorter version oh it's the yellow there we go okay so that's the long version that's the short version excellent good so now we've got all that done now we get to the fun bit which is the stamping and the working out of what we're actually going to show on our cards because the layout is just the basic part so this is where we're starting from hey margaret oh okay i hope everything went okay oh it's gone really dark again hasn't it cannot get my lighting to go well on here i don't know what is the matter oh. i'm not sure how to get this lighter i think my camera is slowly dying i think my phone is slowly dying let's just open this up is this helping or making it worse see it keeps doing that what is that all about? Okay, we'll leave it and hopefully that's a little bit better. Okay. Alrighty. 
Oh, Bev's off. She's got to catch up later. Jane says it all looks okay to me. Good. All righty. Smashing. All right. Well, we'll keep going. So this is the, this one I did one, two, three, four different colors of cardstock. So you can see how um, you can change it and make it so, you know, look really different if you want to. Or you can um, just keep it to two colors, which is what we're doing here, basically. So there's lots of different things. Um, oh, lights are better. Good. OK, thank you. I know it's just I don't know what's the matter with my phone. Normally, my phone is beautiful. But, you know, when it's coming up to the end of its term, it's like 18 months in and suddenly all things start to go wrong. Mm. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, so um, this is the layout that we're following. So this is what we're going to go with. But we'll, we're mixing up the colours <clears throat> and what we're going to be using. These are the three gorgeous colours that we've got. So we've got Polish Pink, Calypso Coral and So Saffron for anyone who is stamping up and following along. Now, I've now got these stamps, as I said. So I like the idea of doing something with an owl. I think an owl might go well on Calypso Coral. So we might do the owl on Calypso Coral because he's a cute little owl. Look at that. See? Really cute. Hey, Darlene. It's so nice to see you. How are you, my friend? Ah, I hope you're keeping well. I was just saying how much we were doing the design stuff over in the membership last month and... Um, that we had a whole month of doing designing and how to Im how to improve your designing and make sure that you never lost your mojo and stuff and that I wanted to share a little bit of the designing that we did over on cardmakingknowhow.com over here uh, on my group and Facebook and YouTube. So that's that's why I have decided to do this. Um, so this is a great set for lots of guy cards really because it's got to a great guy for all the great things you do i mean it's general as well happy birth sending birthday wishes you mean so much to me and no thanks but like with the animals and stuff they tend to you can you can do more earthy tones so like that would definitely be a great card for a man's thank you card or even birthday so i'm using the owl she says getting it stuck to her fingers Let's put you on a little block like so. There we go. And then, so that's with that one. And then for the, well, for the pink one, I feel I have to go flowers. So we'll go flowers for that one. And that one can be a, so that's a sideways. That could be an anyways. This could be an upsy downsy one, or it could be a that way one, and we could do that big flower. Oh, decisions, 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 decisions. Am I going to do the big flower or the little flowers? I'm going to come back to that. I'm not sure. And then for this one, uh, I think we can use the puffins. Let's use the puffins on this one because we can have a whale of a time with the cake and everything with the puffins on this. So let us start off with the owl i should have a cat as well really but there you go <laughs> and then we could make it like the song um and do a boat from the hippos and stuff you know we could do all kinds of stuff oh dear so the card making know-how membership is going to be opening its doors again at the end of july beginning of august not quite sure which yet um but also in the meantime, I've got loads of stuff going on. So we have got my bog off that's going on. If you live in the UK and you fancy some bargains from me and from Stampin' Up, you can come and join my bog off. Message me and I will send you the link to join. You must be a UK resident because I can't ship outside of my region. Um, you could be... Um, you could be in the Netherlands or in Germany, France and Austria, but I don't speak those languages. So um, I feel a bit bad um, 
if you shop with me because I can't speak to you in your own language and that doesn't seem right. So I'm just adding a few, uh, a few little tufts down here. Like so. So we've got some lovely little floral bits going on. Don't need any more than that. And then we're going to stick our three pieces on. Now, where you put them and how far apart you put them is up to you. I've decided I want them on this side this time. No, I did that last time. No, we'll still do it this time because it offsets better. We'll do it this way for this one. I'm going to do them quite close. Um, you will see that your pieces then cover up quite a lot of the stuff you've already just stamped, but don't panic about that. It's just so that you've got something and you can move this as far over this way as you like, but I wouldn't go quite to the edge because you're trying to show that off. So I would go probably about there-ish. And because our owl is quite small, on this one, I put the, the sentiment here, just hanging off. Um, oh, <laughs> thanks, Leone. I do understand at least some of the words that you say. <laughs> Leone's Dutch. So um, I do at least, I do try and understand some of the things. I love it. I've watched Leone and suddenly I come on and then she starts, she switches and starts speaking to me in English. And I'm like, no, you don't have to do that. Um, so now my owl is quite, it's quite like on its own. So I feel like it needs to be sitting on something. So I'm going to do this one and put this on. I think it just needs to be like, so actually I'm going to change this around. This is going to sit down here. I'm going to put my sentiment up the top because that's, oh, and there goes my next door neighbour drilling. Lovely. Sorry about this. We're having real great fun with sound today, aren't we? Nice. Uh, I am going to use a little bit of say saffron because he could be sitting in the sand. It's not a problem. But uh, I will then do my owl in in brown because I feel like he's brown. Now, if you look, there's actually like a little notch taken out there, which I think works perfectly for adding. Uh, we'll pop him down here, adding your little owl into. Make sure that you get rid of anything that's off the thingy. So we do need to have uh, a crumb cake. I feel a crumb cake is good. Oh, you can't hear the drilling. Thank goodness for that, Denise, because it's really loud. I did say to him the other day, he said, I hope it's not too noisy. And I said, it's just Monday lunchtimes. I said, Monday lunchtime, half 12 to half one. I said, because that's when I do my Facebook Live. Oh, look, I've done him a little bit too far over. He's coming off. His, his tail's coming off the edge, but that's OK. So we've got our little owl. Isn't he cute? Could be like a burrowing owl. Um, and then we'll put the sentiment on, but that can go on a little label. So let's pop him on now. And if you wanted to just stick with this with the the one um the one stamp set you can, or you could even just add some extra stuff. So for example, I know that there are splattery things here so you could add some splattering of sand with the color and contour if you wanted to on that one in fact i might even do shall we do that should we do a bit of splattering see how that looks sometimes a bit of splattering of sound looks good we'll see we'll see so yeah he's i mean what sean's renovating but he is pulling everything out absolutely everything out of the house and um, just completely building from scratch almost it feels like it anyway so we'll just do a little splattering of soundy bits underneath here just sort of brings it down a little bit I need to go there we go yep, come on splatter up here there we go yeah just a little bit a bit too much now but never mind so that's that. Oh, you all learn to speak English in the Netherlands. That is good to know. <laughs> oh, look, I like that. I'm going to just, I have to show you that. Look at that. See, a five-year-old can tell you different colours and body parts in English. Wow. Well, see, we start learning French 
but that doesn't help me with my Dutch friends. And when we start learning French, it, it, I was great all the way through junior school until they started talking about um, oh, irregular and regular verbs. And half the verbs that you thought were going to be regular were irregular, and half the other ones didn't seem to make much sense. Even, even when they were regular, I didn't really understand them. So at which point my brain shut off and went, I don't think I can do languages and I've never done them since. I can say good morning and um, hello and thank you in pretty much uh, French, German, uh, Spanish and not Dutch. I have to say I must learn that off of you actually, Leonie. I can't do it in Dutch. Woo, that moved a bit far. Um, but I can't do more than that. But at least I can be polite. So I figure as long as I can be polite, then people can forgive me most other things. Because I would hope that, you know, that's what I would, that they would do it for me as well. So, so now I'm just whizzing these um, strips onto my card because that's the next stage we need to do. Pop that down. And then, there we go. <laughs> don't know what he's doing. It sounds like he's at the, like drilling down for Australia. Um, so we'll do that. Then this is going to come on here. Okay. And I'm going to put this on dimension. No, I'm going to put it flat. Let's put this one flat. We'll do the others up. So we'll do that. Put that on. As I say, you can put it as far over or up as you want. This one I'm going to do quite close. Like so. Then we'll pop that onto our base. Now, obviously, you could do the strips with ribbon. You could do them with anything. It doesn't have to be with cardstock. But it just makes a nice sort of backdrop to that card uh, front, or front piece. And then we'll do a little sentiment. So I have a whole bunch of stuff here. So I've got a large, these are a bit large though to be fair. Got a lot of big pieces, some little pieces. I might do my, where's my oval? My oval would go well. Or some squares. Maybe I'll do some squares as well. Uh, where's my oval punch? So I've got my ovals. We could do some ovals. What can we fit into the oval sentiment? Let's see. Where is it? I'm not sure that's going to fit into there, though. I might do some squares. Let's do a square. I've got my little mini. And we've got some scraps. So the, the, the square I'm going to do will be in Calypso Coral, obviously, to match that. Now you don't have to have die cuts. You could just um, chop these by hand, obviously. But if you do have any die cuts, now, now the question is, where are my die? Where are my dummies? I wasn't expecting to have to cut squarey bits. Always the way. Dun, 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 dun. And of course they're not here. Where are they? No, they're not there. Maybe they're already in my toy dies. What have I done with them? Ugh. Oh. I've lost my stitch shapes. I mean my stylish stylish shapes dies have disappeared. Okay, let's go. If we can't go square, we'll go rectangle. If in doubt, <laughs> if in doubt, go rectangle. See we've got this one which will go quite nice, nicely. That's quite a nice one. And then I can just cut the white to fit. That will work. Don't know what I've done with those. That's very strange. I've put this on my safe, no doubt. Won't find them again. <laughs> but I don't have very many. I feel like squares are lacking in my little pot. I've got loads of circles, not a lot of squares. I feel I need more squares. Oh, I've got some labels. I've got big squares. I think that's a bit big though. <laughs> and that won't go. 
Uh, Judy says she's going to try it. You like those mess-free splodges? Ah, oh, yes, the little splattering, Marilyn. Yeah, see, it's easy when you know how. When you've got a little nice stamp, you don't have to get too, too messy. Right, let us die cut that out. And then I'll measure the measure it and make a little layer to go inside. Because you can always do that if you don't have a layering die. You can have at least one of it die cut. And then, so I'm popping this in my little mini. You can't see that. Move that out of the way. So I'm popping this in my little mini cutter, which is diddly, diddy, diddy, diddy. We love our mini. Um, popping that in. Putting it through sort of a little bit at an angle because that helps it go through so it's not um, not too jumpy. You know what I mean? Oh, might fall off of there. That might fall off in a second. Hold on. Just need to, just need to pop the handles up so it'll fit on my desk. If you could see my desk behind me at the moment. It is a complete shambles, absolute shambles. <laughs> oh, Julie says she's loving the card layout. She's going to give them a try. Good. That's what I like to hear. Right, dies that need to go back in their packets. Put that in there. Now, then what I do is I get my little measuring, little get my little ruler out. And I reckon, oh, I reckon a two and a half. Just under a four, because it's in Imperial. So it would be like one and a half by one. Oh, maybe we just do it in Imperial. Sometimes you have to switch. Sometimes you just have to be able to switch between the two, especially when you're using dies, because a lot of dies are based on inches. So what did I say? One and a half by one. So we'll do one over here. Right, one and a half. Yeah. Ooh, see, I can't hold that down. Come on, get in there. There we go. It's a bit diddy. Is that right? That is right. Now, the only problem with this is you have to be able to actually stamp on it while it's that small because you can't stamp and then cut it. Well, I mean, you could, but it's a bit of a faff. So, let's see. Can we get a note of thanks on here? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Right. Let's do that. So we are going to. Oh, sorry. I want to take Julia off a minute. Um, so we're going to. I think we'll probably go with. I might go crumb cake and then bring in the owl colour. That's cool. Let's do crumb cake. If you wanted to make the owl a little darker you could i would recommend doing it so that the owl doesn't hang off the edge because his tail's kind of cute okay breathe in and breathe out as you stamp and then that way you're much less tense there we go that's not bad it's not quite straight but it'll do right so now we'll glue this on here. How are we doing time-wise? Oh, wow, 20 past already. Okay, we've got to go quicker. We've got to go quicker, Pip. That's because I'm faffing around trying to find labels. Alrighty, there we go. Now he's going up on dimensionals. If I can find any, there's a couple on there. I'm going to need to open a new sheet. Need a new sheet. Okay, so dimensional. Don't worry, I will go back and use up all those extra bits. I always go back and use up my extra bits, but it's quicker online if I just, like when I'm live, I just use new ones mostly. All right. So we can pop that. In there, nice sort of layering, like so. There's our first card done. So he's kind of cute, isn't he? Nice, sitting on the side, little owl, being wise, <laughs> saying thank you. 
All right, let's tidy this all up. That's our first one. So we're going to end up with five cards made with this layout because I had two from before. Let's get that out of the way. So the next one is pretty much the opposite in colours because we're going to go with our So Saffron base. See, now you've done all the hard bit, sorting all those pieces out. Now you can do the fun bit, putting them all together. Do I want to... Do I want to put anything on the base of this? Let's see. This is going to come across here. I don't think I've got anything that will fit from this stamp really of an edge. And I think I can cope without that. So let's just pop this straight on. Oh, thanks, Martha. Martha says she loves it. That is good. I'm glad because it's a nice easy one. Who's following? Is anybody crafting along with us today? I'd love for you to grab your supplies and have a have a go. Now, I can either do black and white puffins or I could do Calypso coral puffins. What do we think? Because they've got puffiny, I mean, Calypso coral, I don't know. What do you reckon? Should we stamp one and see what it looks like as a Calypso coral puffin? Because he's kind of cute. He's going to go in here somewhere, isn't he? All right. Uh, I think we'll have him and we'll have the other one dancing. And then, yeah, see, he's dancing, flapping around. He'd be quite cute there, wouldn't he? So we'll do these two. Jane says she's just watching. You could always craft along, Jane. I'm going to just take a spare piece of pre-loved card. I'm going to stamp it in Calypso Coral and just see what they look like. Whether whether you can tell that they're... Oh, Ange says black and white. See, that would be my original thinking too. But I don't know whether they would look all right. Mm. Mm, my ink pad's definitely needing something doing to it. It's re-inking, I think. They don't look bad. They don't look too bad in Calypso Coral. What do we think? It might look better in black though. I'm going to go with Ange. Ange says black and white. We're going to try him with black and white. If I had my Calypso Coral working better, I would go with Calypso. I think I would give it a try with Calypso Coral. It'd be nice to see them in different colours just occasionally. Hey, Debbie's on. You're just watching today as well. They're looking great. Thank you. I'm shaking the camera, sorry. I just want to get him clean. So um, it's good that you're here. I'm glad that you're here. So what was the other thing I needed to tell everybody? Did I tell you about my bog off? I can't remember if I told you about my bog off. We've got a massive bog off going at the moment. Lots and lots of lovely things. So if you live in the UK, you can message me and I will get you the link for that. Then you can come and join our group and get some lovely bargains. Bargains galore. Okay, because we're doing choose your retired stuff and then get your new stuff. And then you get your retired stuff for free, if you see what I mean. So it all works out. It's all very clear in the group. So you can come and join us there and do that. Oh, my tummy's making really weird noises today. <laughs> That's probably because I just ate something before I came on live. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a happy puff in here. Nice. Look, they're so cute. Oh, I made Sean a birthday card with puffins. He loves a puffin. One day we'll go and see him, but not at the moment. They're, they're not doing very well at the minute in places. Right, so... Oh, Julie says she would, but she's just taking, well, Ju Julie's just taking in the ideas, but Julie, you're nearly in bed at this point, aren't you? So I, I kind of figure that's, that's fair enough. Because down in Australia, it's like night time already. Is it night time or is it tomorrow? No. Yeah, it's night time. 
I never get ready. I never, I, I'm always, like I can do backwards, I can't do forwards. It's really weird. Right, there's that. Now we need to put our little stripes in. Now what we could do is we could do the, these ones coming up from the bottom rather than down from the top, like candles. Three candles, not four candles. <laughs> oh, someone's angry with me. I don't know why. I hope that's okay. I hope they're not very angry. There we go. There we go. So these ones I might space out just a smidgey more than I did before. And then we'll pop this one in first. Still going to go not quite centrally. So we'll do this. And then like so. Now you could measure it with a ruler, but honestly, life's too short. So I just go by eye. And most of the time, you, once you practice, you get your eye in. It's the practicing getting your eye in. But that's what some of our um, masterclasses and everything that we do in the in the memberships all about learning how to get your eye in and which why one layout looks good to the other, good from the other, etc. Right, this time I think I'm going to put the puffins. I'm going to stand the puffins up. Yeah, do a big big bit of foam sheet love these foam sheets and they're speakily just perfectly designed to fit whenever I do one of these so just move it over a bit so that you've got your um, edge you know your edge and again it doesn't really matter if it's particularly straight I'm going to come up here so I will have these measurements and everything up on my blog this week so don't worry you don't have to write them all down I will put them all up for you and then, so you just peel it off in a big in a big thing and then just pop them down all right so these can come over just about oh that one's not quite at the bottom can I squish it down a bit is it still squishy no it's got too late too late right there we go Put that on there like so nice now we could put um quite like the candles actually maybe i should have put some candles on although they're quite big candles so maybe not uh, i think we're going to go with you're the best you're the best or happy birthday no i think we'll go you're the best then it could be for anything, it doesn't even have to be for a birthday. You're the best. Here we go. Uh, have I got another little? No. I'm going to have to go on a bit of a bigger. Let's move some, let's move some blocks around. Here we go. There we are. You're the best. Now I'm going to put that on a circle and I know I've got circles. So we will, she says, Oh, let's just get them all out. It's a lot easier, isn't it? It's a lot easier when it's in my tub. I don't know why I took it out of my tub. I've got circles, squares. Do you know what? I haven't actually got small circles. Isn't that just typical? Ugh. Let's do the oval punching. Sometimes punching is just quicker and easier. Now, I haven't used any of my trademark vellum this time around. And I know you're all waiting for me to put some on. So, if we use my oval, two oval punch, we could actually do that. We could actually do that. So, we could get some vellum. Just get a little bit of vellum. And we'll just punch out the big one. Then I am going to punch out um, a so saffron one as well. You'll see it will all become clear. It will all become clear in a, in a moment. Because we've got quite a lot of so saffron going on. But that's okay. 
but I figure it's just nice if we just switch it out a smidge. Um, so now I need a piece of white. This will do. I'm going to use Calypso Coral for the wording. <laughs> Denise says she loves the puffins. They are indeed cute. Oh, everybody. Oh, look at this. Oh, Leonie's got to go. She's got to go and pick the little ones up from school. See you later, Leonie. Do his feet in Calypso Coral. Oh, look, see? Now, Heather, you, now, Ange, you're making it all very complicated for me. I might colour them in. Um, <laughs> Denise says she loves the puffin, puffins. Atriana says she loves the puppet, puffins. So that's cool. Oh, and Julie says, yes, it's 20 past 10. See, it's night time. Okay, you're the best. Should we do his, Should we do their feet? We'll do their feet in a second. Good call, cool, Ange. Right, so I'll pop this in here. Ugh. Now, mind you, if you're doing this, you're doing this if you're using a scrap like me. I'm going to just get it to that point. Just where it bites, but it's not quite cutting, so you can get your fingers out of the way. Do that, and then you're okay. They definitely go in my recycling bin. There we go. So we'll pop this on here. So that's going to go on the vellum. You're like, what? Yep, on the vellum. And then we'll put the vellum to the to the so saffron. Just tone it down a smidge. Look at that. See, it makes it completely different. It makes it like a much more muted tone. <gasps> it's going to have to go sideways. Oh no, I didn't like that idea. Oh, that's too big, really, isn't it? That's not going to look good. That's not going to... I'm going to use that for something else. I'm going to be reckless and I'm just going to go stamping straight because that's... Yeah, that's not good. Luckily, I've put this on foam, so you can always stamp onto it. That's another benefit of foam. I think that looks much better. We're just going to leave the whole thing out completely. Um, and then I'm going to colour in their feet. Now, I've only got my right markers, so they won't colour in as smoothly as blends but for such a small little area not a problem and these are the same inks as in the pads look at that that's quite cute we should probably do their um should probably do their beaks as well shouldn't we because they have calypso coral on their beaks for sure should we do that oh, i don't know i don't know which bit of it Mm, yeah. mm. Oh, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to do their beaks. I'm tempted to do this part of their beak. I don't know why. Because they're coloured further up, aren't they? I think they're coloured up here. And then they're kind of grey beaked. There we go. Let's do that. That looks good. That looks better, I think. Right. Whew a bit of indecision there so that's card number two plus a spare tag finally we'll do the florally one and this time i'm we're going to make it quick these are going to go across here like so you all know the drill now so we're just going to go straight in i'm really glad that the drilling is not getting on your nerves Otherwise, I did say I might have to go and tell him to shush. So, now for this one, I'm going to use the splatter, but we're going to splatter it in a different way. So, I'm going to chamois it. I've just wet my chamois, so it's very soggy. There we go. Chamois it. We're going to go pink. It's not really splattering it in a different way, it's splattering it in a different colour, that's why I needed to change. And we're going to do a bit of splattering up here, down here, and then I'm going to take the, oops, this is on too big a block really, but we'll do this. We'll do the opposite corners of this piece. There we go. Just to add a little bit of 
distraction. Okay, Get rid of that. Pop these on. I like the fact these are a mix and match. So summer, summer paper, summer um, card, or one's one's card, two's paper. I quite like that. I'm doing on this side this time. We did on the other side the other time. I just want to show you how this layout looks. You can do it all kinds of different ways. I've even um, one of my team did it where the strips were coming down from the middle, like from from this part here. That looked great too. So you know, there's lots of different ways you can do you can do stuff. Uh, Sure, these are straight, they're not looking straight, but that could just be my eyes or my eyes. No, they're okay. Okay, so that's now going to go on here. Oh, yes to the beaks. Good, you all said yes to the beaks, so I'm glad I did the beaks. That's good. Oh, see, pink, just oh, just gorgeous. And then we'll pop a flower on here. Now again, I need a I need a background colour, so I'm just going to use black because it's easy, and it's quite nice with the pink. But you could use any background, and I am going to do the tall one because it will give us room for a sentiment. So I'm going to do the tall one coming across here. Just the sweaty bits in here. And I know I've not used any of the new stuff at all at the moment. Oh, I'm running out of blocks. Here we go. Let's use the big one for this. Um, but I will be. I'll be back. I'll, I'll come. I'll do some uh, new catalogue. But I feel like it's just a bit too early for Christmas at the moment. And I know that there's lots of you feeling the same way. But I will be doing some more celebration mm -hmm. stuff so like the hippo would have been great on one of these so we should definitely do a hippo for sure but i'd really like to have it colored in first so i might make one of those and then show you on the blog no promises mind but i might so i'm going to go this way with this like so we'll do pink obviously for the flower How's the lighting doing? Is it still all right? It's still okay, isn't it? I think. There we go. And this isn't a perfect match. So you just sort of get it roughly and then lift. It's pretty though, isn't it? And you've only got sort of outlines for the leaves, so you don't have anything that you can fill in the leaves. But if you wanted to, you could just put a wash across the leaf element and then I'm going to put this on oh now Sean's tidying up and scraping and making a whole heap of noise upstairs <laughs> surrounded by noise I'm going to go to my packing shed and pack bog off boxes I think and get them all done ready to go out the door tomorrow because it's noisy in here okay so then this is coming across here oh that looks pretty doesn't it and then I think I'm going to go for a, if I can find one, like either a, a, a white square. I really want a little diddy wet brown circle. I'm sure I have some in here. we got in here. I'm sure I had some tiny tiny circles. Maybe I only had tiny tiny squares. I used all my tiny circles. Oh dreadful if I have. See now it would uh, it would fit an oval this time around so I could do an oval. 
feel I feel the need for a circle there. Do you think? I think I've lost all my stitches there. I think I've used all my stitches there. I haven't lost them. I think I've used them. Okay. Oh, I need to do a. I need to do what my friend Katina does. Sit in front of the sofa and just die cut a bunch of stitch shapes again. Because I've got squares, but I haven't. Well, maybe we go squares. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Let's work out what we're going to put on it first before we worry too much about that. Right, let's see. What have we got? We've got. You're absolutely amazing is my fa favourite. Also very happy for you. Well, thank you for everything. Don't know, really. We could do any of those. That would fit in the oval, I think. Let's do ovals. Oh, no, it might not, actually, because I forgot this is... Um, this is not actual size. It's, yeah, smaller. That's at 85%. Okay, so not that one. Let us see. Hmm. These are all quite big, actually. I think they all need quite a big, need quite a big oval or circle or whatever. I think that one will fit on there quite nicely. So let's do that one. And I'll do it in black again, I think, just to pop it out. Let's flip that over. <laughs> Pink is, oh, see. Julie, you and I, born to be friends. Pink card is her favourite, but that's because pink's her favourite colour. <laughs> yeah, I think the pink one's going to be my favourite too out of all of them. Although I do quite like the bear and the owl. And the puffins are cute. I don't know, it's hard, isn't it? You like I like everything, really. There we go. Thank you for everything. Pink and, oh, I was going to do that in black, wasn't I? No, never mind. I've done it in pink now because I got carried away talking about pink. So, <laughs> and then rather than having like a matte square behind it, you can put like a little banner piece behind it like this. So we'll just do that and bring in a banner piece for that there like that. I think that would look great. So let's do this bit flat and then we'll layer the rest of the other things up so it's not all too puffy puffy to go into the go into the post. We can almost bring this halfway across like so. There we go. So it's even there, even there, even there. a little bit bigger at the bottom but that's okay. Then we'll pop glue on the back of this position that where we want it because if you use glue you can slide it around you have what I call wiggle room adjustment room adjustment time till it bonds okay then it's stuck forever right then we can use dimensionals here we go and put, I put them over both the edges here like this. So it's nicely held down. And that's going to go sort of there-ish, I think. Straight with the edges. Like so. And now these don't have any embellishments on. And this month is embellishment month in the membership. So... I would be remiss if I didn't put any embellishments on. So now let's get the cards out and see how we can finish them off. You could add bows. You could add all kinds of embellishments. Sequins and jewels and gems. And oh, we have so many, which is marvellous. So I'm going to bring some out and see what we've got. So these are polished pink. So they would go with those quite nicely. These are, I don't know what these are. What are these? Oh, these are supposed to be papaya, but I think they'd work quite nicely with the so saffron, to be honest. I think they'd go with those. So these seem to be kind of a winner. Um, what else we got? What else have we got? Hey, Marnie, thanks for joining. Nice to see you here. Let's have a look. I don't think. Possibly the rustic metallic dots. 
on this one, maybe. Maybe. What else have we got? So we've got champagne, which I love because they change colour basically with anything that you put it on. Or I've lost my iridescent rhinestones. I've got some elegant faceted. Let's have a look. So many different choices. That's what I really love. Oh, and I've got my iridescent gem. Of course, I've got my iridescents. They're always a good one. Okay, let's have a look. So puffins are fun. I think they need to have some fun ones. So we'll do some these nice opal rounds. I think they're quite kind of good to go with these. So let's pop on some of these. Can tuck one under there. See, because I didn't do any stamping, did I? So we could just add a few of these up here. Like so. That looks nice. I wouldn't put them actually on here because this is quite um, deep now. So going through the post, I probably would just leave it at that. So that's those. Then these ones, definitely pop some of these on. I'm going to have to go big because I don't have very many little ones left. I think I need a new packet. You can tell my favourite colours, can't you? <laughs> I haven't even touched the green ones. I think that's quite nice. Let's just leave that there. And then for these ones, I think we'll just do these again because they're quite cute. We can have them down here on the sand where he's just obviously just sitting, waiting to see what's going on. I'm getting carried away now. And then we could put a bigger one up here, maybe just out, just yeah, no, maybe not. Maybe just to hide that bit that doesn't quite join like that. Yeah, that looks quite good. There we go. So here we have. Let's tidy up a bit. So here are the three like summer color cards that we made today, because it is summer, isn't it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bring my camera up a bit and you can see the mess but also you can see more cards so ex excuse the mess just look at the cards let's take that out of the way okay so now we'll put those two over here like that this one can come down here and then I'll bring in these two again so we've got these two as well so there's five different cards same layout <laughs> you like so we've gone from men's cards really bright zingy colors with the tahitian tide and floral to kids cards definitely great for a kids party or celebrating a child doing well at school uh, but also for a friend who likes puffins uh, a note of thanks to a wise old owl, somebody somebody that you know who's very wise, that works well. Uh, and then a thank you, They're all, they've all pretty much turned out to be thank you cards, which is interesting. Um, I always like thank you cards, I use them a lot, so that's kind of handy. And then I think this one is my favourite, the pink. But they're all lovely, aren't they? So it just goes to show that you can make so many different cards... Oh, that's really bright now. Sorry, I have to just pull that down a smidge. Oh, there we go. Now you can see me better. <laughs> but you can make so many different cards just using the same layout. And that's part of the design stuff that we did last month in the Card Making Know How membership. So um, I hope you've gathered some good information today and you've found a new layout that you're going to go and play with. I would look, you can see, oh, you can see the state of my desk behind me it's just dreadful it's because we're all in a state of flux at the moment so anyway um we persevere hey hi Yvonne <laughs> nice to see you join us right at the end or you might have been here all along and just commented just now but see how you can make some really nice cards just by using a different layout or different using your elements that you've got in a different way and these two same but on opposite sides the paper was on opposite sides of the card um these two the strips were on 
the top or the bottom, depending on how on how you lay them out. So a very simple, easy layout. And as I say, I will put all the measurements up. But if you are a seasoned crafter, you can probably work them out. But if not, I will put them up on my blog this week because I like sharing how to use things like that um, so that you can learn how to you know, improve your card making, because that's what we're all about. That's why we all come and watch videos and, you know, I run classes so that people can improve their card making. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, I have a couple of announcements to make. Well, not announcements, but just useful information. So let us think about this. What, what do we need to do? So if you want to find out about card making know-how when it opens the, in at the end of this month, beginning of August, then jump onto this link here and there'll be a, a form that you can fill in and then I can email you about that. OK, uh, if you are. Um, if you are new to me and you've never uh, placed an order with me before and you want to have a catalogue, then if you live in the UK, then you absolutely can just do this happy mail. I've got some people who are still waiting for catalogues, just had them arrive yeah, uh, last week. So they're being packaged up and they'll go out tomorrow. So catalogues are on the way to everybody. Um, Paper Party is now open. Yay. Uh, so Paper Party for September, where you'll get to use all of the new papers that, are, that have come out in July, December catalogue. Um, you can come along to our Paper Party that I run with Katina. Information went out, went out to everyone who's interested in that um, this week. If, you're, if you want to um, have a look at that, you can click that link. And then what else was I going to say? Mm -mm -mm. If you want to be clever like Cheryl and join, then you can join using this link, uh, which basically means you get, get a lovely planner this month. I need to do something on the planner. I'll do it next week. Um, but yes, you get a planner this month if you want to do that and jump in and become a demo like me. But you don't have to do it like me. You can be completely different. So that's good. If you are a brand new crafter, then I always recommend you start off with our kits. And you're getting a theme here. It's just queenpipcars.com and then forward slash kits. Um, so, and then if you want to shop for anything that you've seen today, you can just jump on into my store and shop. And if you buy from me, a catalogue will come in the post to you shortly thereafter. So I think that's about all the things I wanted to say. It's been a busy one this month. Um, you're very welcome. Oh, oh, and I need to pick a winner. That you just reminded me. I need to pick a winner. Somebody's going to get one of these cards. Let me uh, go here and do this whole StreamYard giveaway thing. Oops. Let's do a giveaway. I love doing a giveaway. Right. So we will share my screen. Share this one. Here we go. Hopefully you can now all see this. Uh, we're doing this one, which is live. One layout, many cards. Are we ready? Let's. If you've commented, you're in the giveaway already. So let's do that. Let's draw. I love this bit. Dun, 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 dun. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? I've commented. That shouldn't be coming up. But there we go. If it gets to me, I'll give it to somebody else. It's Denise again. Hey, Denise, you're a lucky winner. Hey, well done. <laughs> Denise is a bit like, oh, another card. Great. That's fab. <laughs> so well done, Denise. You are in the draw. Thank you so much. The other Denise, that's a different Denise. So, <laughs> and Darlene, you're going to be using the layout too. That's good. That's what I like to hear. I like to hear that people will do, oh, and just had to disappear off to do an Excel transfer course. That doesn't sound fun at all. This is much more fun than doing that. Um <laughs> But yes, yeah, so I'd love to see your um, cards that you make, pop them into Crafty Corner or into um, Card Making for Beginners and Beyond, whichever group you're in, pop them in there and ask me questions. You know, if you've got questions about these layouts, please ask me, let me know um, what you think, uh, how, how you're going to interpret them for your card making. Right. Well, that's it. I've been gassing on for far too long now, so I'm going to head off. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you again next week. In the meantime, happy crafting, everybody, and have a good week. Don't get too hot in that sun. All right. Cheers. Bye.